Hi, everybody. I, do, I hope that you're doing well. <clears throat> I'm sorry about canceling last night, but we decided to spend an uh, extra night up in Wisconsin. And um, so I really didn't have much to, to talk about anyway. So um, it worked out okay for me. Esther, I'm sorry that you joined. I had put a note in our WhatsApp, but I put it under a different practicum that I have here. So I'm I greatly apologize that you did not see it and you joined. Um, I know that you are um, very busy right now. So I don't want to do anything that is going to interfere with your um with what you're up to these days, okay? <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. Um, I'm looking for, um, this week, I'm gonna have to put it up here. And I'm gonna have to share my screen. Let's see. Okay, so let me put the share screen on. So we're getting through, we're getting through. Now you guys should be actively working toward your next term uh, practicum. I, I have uh, done what you've requested me to. And so waiting to hear back from the organizations I've reached out to for you. Um, so we'll, we'll stay up on that. And um, I hope that you're in the swing of things. I, I find that the primary care for disease prevention, both of those two, they're, they're not incredibly um, time consuming to do. But still, it's another thing that you need to check off on your list. And I was telling Esther last week that um, I definitely am going to restructure this entire program. You shouldn't be taking 11 credit hours. That's too much. Full time is considered 12. Uh, so that's just crazy um, for you to be doing. So, But unfortunately, that doesn't help you guys. So... I'm do, going to do whatever I can to make this term easy for you or not easy, but you know, less uh, strenuous, I guess I could say. So let's look at the primary care and practicum seminar. This is the course that I'm most interested in. Okay. The one that you're taking with Dr. Blackman, these courses are going to provide you the skills required to function as a nurse practitioner in practice. Okay. So very important that you understand all of the concepts. And remember, as I preach constantly, everything goes back to pathophysiology and basic physiology. So the treatments that, that you do, the disease processes that you identify all go back to the pathophysiology. The treatments actually that you're prescribing are going to either interrupt a process or ad adapt a process or um, interfere with uh, a process in some regard all right so just keep up to date with your typhon um let's see if you have anything due this week um i think yeah this is week seven right okay there's that peer review did i look at that one i think i did okay and so, no, so good. You don't have to do much there. Another thing, very, very important. You need to schedule a Zoom call for your professor and I. So, or your your um, preceptor. So talk to your preceptor, come up with a good date and time. Let me know and I will send out a link for Zoom. The call itself will is short. It will only take five to 10 minutes but it's important and it's required. So make sure that you do that, okay? 
Um, do that this week. Put that on your list of to-dos. Uh, let's go here. Same thing. So for the primary care, I made a video I, I'm going to put in here. Um, this is really just the same thing. And the good thing is you don't have any soap notes required in this one. Um, but uh, preventative health care and wellness is really, really important. Um, I told you in my practice, even though I'm in acute care, I use it all the time. Because I want my patients to, I want to ensure that my patients are up to date in their preventative health care services. All right, let's see. Here we are coming up on this one. And these are discussions, health promotion in the community. You did that one already. The individual and uh, disease prevention and health lifestyle. Um, I'm going to make a video for week nine. I have to do that. I have to make videos for the ones in the rest of the weeks. Um, but again, you guys are, are excellent at doing your discussion posts. So just keep doing what you're doing. Um, again, please, if you have any students who are interested in entering our program, that would be amazing if you could um, send them my way. Um, and um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, again, if you have any questions, concerns, get in touch with me immediately. All right. Don't don't wait and be concerned or worried. Um, text me, call me, um, let me know what's going on right away so that I can help you and I can alleviate your fears. All right, if I can. So I'm going to process this video and put it up. If you have any questions or concerns, again, reach out, please. Otherwise, 